What's good everybody, it's your boy JD, back with another NBA 2K23 build video for you, and today I'm bringing you uh, kind of an alternative. I know, you know, for point guard builds, a lot of people are running that 6 foot one you know, meta type point guard build that a lot of people use on like the comp pro-am type uh, scene and everything, but I'm going to show you a build here that's 6 foot 3 and going to be a little bit different and it's going to be a little more well-rounded, I think, than than just that standard six foot one you know barely any defense and everything like that i'm gonna call it my deer and fox build i think it plays very similar to him and and after the game he had the other night against the warriors i mean i mean why not huh so we're gonna start out this build we're gonna go point guard we'll go left-handed in jersey number five like deer and fox we're gonna go six foot three 171 pounds and we're gonna max out the wingspan because we want to be able to play good defense on this build as well um, I'm just gonna go compact. You could take it any style. Actually, we'll go we'll, do, we'll define. We'll put a little bit of little bit of muscle mass on him here. So, like I said, 6'3", 171, max wingspan and defined. And now, like I said, this build's gonna be a lot more well-rounded than just your standard meta six foot one type build. And the badge count is gonna look really solid on it as well. So, first things first, we're gonna go close shot 76. We're going driving layup 84. And we are going driving dunk all the way up to 86. And as you can see, that's going to give us 20 finishing badges on this build. You're going to have things like Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame. You're going to get some post badges here on bronze. You'll get Masher on silver. And then your tier twos, you got Acrobat on gold, which is really nice to have. You'll have Fast Twitch and Fearless Finisher on silver. And then you have some good tier three badges here. So having 20 finishing badges will definitely help out. If you need to uh, get multiple in here, you can have your Slithery and Posterizer on Silver and then your Limitless Takeoff on Gold, which is obviously really nice to have. So really nice array of finishing. Now, Deer Fox is a pretty solid shooter as well, especially in the mid-range. So we're going to make sure we give him um, you know, some decent shooting stats. We're going to go 75 on the mid-range, 85 on the three ball, and then we're going 70 on the free throw. So again, we're going to have 20 shooting badges, more than enough in this game. Now, you can run Claymore if you were going to be more of a spot up on this build. I don't know if you necessarily need to run it as a point guard, um, but your tier twos, you got you know, your amp, catch and shoot if you want to run that on gold, green machine on gold. You're going to have your space creator on Hall of Fame, which is nice for doing them step back jumpers. And then your tier threes, you got your agent threes, blinders, limitless, and dead eye all on silver. Um, Limitless on Silver is going to be solid enough for this type of a build. Um, you don't need the 92 three ball necessarily to, to shoot consistently in this in this game. Um, you know, like I said, more on that meta 6-1. You know, you're going to maybe want a little bit higher three ball. You're going to be kind of going around the screens and shooting. This build can ISO, it can finish, you know, and shoot. And 85 will be plenty, trust me. Down to the playmaking. Now we're going to have some real nice playmaking stats here too. We're going 80 on the pass accuracy. We're going 92 on the ball handle. And then we're going 82 on the speed with ball. And as you can see, that'll give us another extra playmaking badge, which will give us 24 playmaking badges on this build. Now you're gonna have your needle threader on silver. You're gonna have gold dimer. By put, getting the that 80 pass accuracy, that'll put that on gold for you. You're gonna have the Hall of Fame quick first step and hyperdrive along with your gold unpluckable all as tier twos on this build. And then your tier threes, you'll have the plant bear, plant breaker, and killer combos on gold. And then your silver handles for days and mismatch expert as well. Um, you know, really solid here as far as the playmaking goes. And with silver handles for days on a you know on a build like this, especially if you're gonna be playing like wreck and you're not gonna be just hiding behind screens, moving left and right, trying to wiggle open for that open shot. You're gonna be just fine with the silver handles for days and that 92 ball handle. Kind of use this as more of like a like a secondary ball handler type build too, if you wanted to go that route. Um, but again, 24 playmaking badges, really solid there. And then, unlike the the meta kind of six one, we definitely did not skimp on the defense. Uh, we're gonna have 27 on the interior, 87 on the perimeter, 85 on the steel. I mean, if we're gonna play like De'Aaron Fox, his nickname is Swiper. We gotta be able to we gotta be able to have some steel on our builds. We're going 52 on the block, which is you can see will give you an extra defensive badge there. And then down on the rebounding, nothing on the offensive board. And then we're going to take the defensive board up to 68, which will give you an extra defensive badge, as you can see there as well. 
Um, reason you don't have to go 70 on this is Rebound Chaser. As you can see, there's no requirements to get it bronze. On your typical build, you have to have it at 70, but um, for this height and everything, you don't need it. So we'll go 68 just to get that extra defensive badge. Now, as you can see, you can have Off-Ball Pest on Hall of Fame. If you're playing Off-Ball for whatever reason, you'll have Chase Down and Rebound Chaser on bronze. Um, just, to, just to have the on animations unlocked there. Then as far as your tier 2s, you'll have the Menace and Workhorse Hall of Fame, Pick Dodger Gold if you're trying to work around the screens, and then some real nice tier 3s. you got the Silver Glove, which is nice. We all know with the, the update on Steels earlier that Silver Glove is just fine to have. You can have Silver Interceptor for being able to play those lanes. Silver Clamps, which is also very solid. Um, I think 2K Labs did some testing on the Clamps badge, and Silver's kind of that sweet spot. And then you're going to have the gold challenger as well. So if you have your plus four badges, you know, you could definitely put some extras in here. As, you know, all four of these tier threes are real nice badges to have. You might want to run that. Or if you have the, you know, the double cores, you can kind of mix and match. But I, I would definitely suggest maybe throwing a few extra defensive um, badge points in there if you have those. Now down on the physicals, we didn't skimp down here at all either. We're going to go 85 on the speed. And then we're going 90 on the acceleration. So... As you know, acceleration is tied into your movement with the ball as well. So combined with the 92 ball handle, 82 speed with ball, and a 90 acceleration, you're definitely going to be moving on this build. The strength, we're going to leave at a 37. The vertical, we're going to take up to 75. So we can pair that with our 86 driving dunk and we can get access to all those contact dunk animations. Um, you know, it's real nice to, to have that. Obviously, on a, on a build like this, you're going to be able to, like I said, ISO, get to the rim finish at the rim with that gold limitless takeoff and the posterizer and then we're gonna put the rest on the stamina here 94 stamina with your workout bump that up to roughly 98 so you're gonna want that that extra little bit of stamina if you're being a primary ball handler obviously so as you can see here we've, we've made a really nice solid build 20 finishing 20 shooting 24 playmaking and 22 defense I mean there's really not a weakness on this build so if you're looking for something other than you know the standard 6-1 point guard or, or even like a 6-9 point guard that a, a lot of people run in that 6-9 6-8 range this is definitely a really nice option to have uh, I've got a build very similar to this the ball handling is just slightly lower and I think the steel because I've made it earlier in the year I think the steel is like 95 on it it has the gold glove but like I said with all the updates and everything that have been done 85 steel is gonna be more than enough um, so what you're looking at here is, is a really nice build uh, let's go on to the takeover options as you can see you have the lock takeovers you have the playmaking you have your sharpshooting and finishing takeover so you're gonna you can have all of the, the different badge options that you might want if we're gonna do this as a deer and fox like I said you know he's kind of that two-way player we're gonna put uh, the extreme clamps and then we'll put some finishing on here too but if you were going to run it as a standard point guard, I might suggest you know putting on the uh, the limitless range maybe. So you know you can go ahead and throw that on any way you want to mix and match those takeovers. Is the build complete? Yes, it is. Let's see what we get for player comparisons. We get Baron Davis. Boom. We get the comparison to De'Aaron Fox. What more do you want there? And then also comparison to Drew Holiday. So build name is a two-way inside out creator I think that's the perfect type of a build name for a player like this so let me know what you guys think about this build down below and if you guys want to see any other type of build videos um, you know different things like that whatever you want to see next on the channel also get let me know give me a shout down below and let me know what you want to see and appreciate you for sticking around watching the video drop a like hit that subscribe button check out some of the other content on the channel and I'll see you in the next one I'm out peace